Good morning, guys. So I'm glad. As usual, we start most of our trips at a uh, at a Lawson. Today we got the curry bread. So that curry filling. Curry exterior, actually pretty good kick for the morning. Not too spicy. And then uh, Coca Cola Plus. I guess it's one of their diet versions. So, and me being the diet coke connoisseur I am, I give it a shot. I'm heading to the shrine, the, the shrine in Asakusa, and be true tourists for the day. Nice. Our boy Bucci is going to give us a rickshaw ride. <laughs> Doko? Uh, Taiwan, uh, 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 Laos, Vietnam. Uh, it was so fun. But I couldn't speak English. But I never been there. I want to go to Syria. Yeah. Syria. Yeah. 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 Aleppo. 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 Yes. Aleppo. Uh, uh, Turco no Hi. Arapo. Oh. Arapo. 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 Oh. This country are there. So so. And also with uh, anime, this tower. Yeah, yeah. Come here. Titan and Jojo. Do you know Jojo? Oh, nice, nice. I love Jojo very much. And did you see the street? Love street. Okay, I'll show you one photo. Hmm. All the photo of this street. <laughs> you remember? In old time, we made a building like this. Corner missing one. In Edo period, in samurai period, we made a building by wood. Oh. There were a lot of wooden buildings. So there were a lot of fire accidents. Mm. Oh. Yeah. And also, Hokusai. Crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Just had a great time with our boy uh, Bucci. He was spitting some uh, some Arabic with us, which is pretty funny too. We practiced some Japanese with him. He's really funny. Uh, chatted about anime and stuff. But now we're here in the heart of Asakusa with the temple. He showed us, you know, the Demon Slayer spots. Some ja traditional Japanese sweets here. Done with that right now, boys. Very savory. 
savory and sweet. It's sort of like teriyaki sauce. This is where they uh, they buy their uh, omamori, their charms, and uh, the likes, fortunes. I believe this is a Buddhist temple. Um, I, I don't remember if it's Buddhist or uh, Shinto. Alhamdulillah, but it's always uh, interesting to see and learn about other cultures and religions and practices. It's a very, very foreign lifestyle. So they throw money in and they make their prayers. This morning has definitely been very active. Um, it's in the rickshaw ride and the whole temple temple run, man. It was a good, a lot of uh, nice vendors, a lot of good food. Uh, got some traditional like Japanese sweets I'm gonna take home. As for now, it's still a cafe around here I really wanna try. After that, really, I'm not sure. There's just so much to do when you're in Tokyo that you can't really decide where to go at some level. After you eat the big ones, it's like, which of these little things I want to do? Which is good. It's good there's always something to do. But it's rough, especially even... I mean, we're not spending our full two weeks here, but if we were, we'd still not have everything we want to. There's always new spots opening up, which is, again, like... That's why this must be a great city to live in. Not, not for me, though. Not with this heat. There's the Sanrio store with the eyes open. It's kind of actually pretty sick. Kind of wish we wore yukata today because it kind of looks sick and everyone's wearing them. Uh, I think it's actually perfect for this weather, man, because we are we are cooking out here. <laughs> we are cooking. But we picked Japan in the middle of August, so we got what we asked for. Matcha smoothie, taiyaki. But I, I have these in my left hand, I'm not going to use my left hand, so you can just picture how much I'm going to enjoy this in a, in a minute. This looks freaking lit. I'm going to have a stroke. I wish so. This is kind of crazy. I don't know what this is. It tastes like matcha. It's good. This is red bean and like cake stuff in the middle. This is crazy. This is um, cha cha futatsume. Cha cha futatsume in Asakusa. It's, we've, walked, we've walked like four minutes from the temple to here. It's right next to it. It's really good. The rickshaw route passes by, so highly recommend if you like ice cream and you want to go into a food coma. Here at Masjid Asakusa, this one actually has a lot more Islamic uh, architecture, I guess. Other, other massage, I mean, obviously, Dianet is a whole nother ball game, but most of the other massages are kind of just the floor to of a building they kind of rent. But this one, 
I guess they own the whole property. The sagittarius are very vertical, <laughs> so it's definitely a change than uh, American sagittarius. It's the same like the Lutheran set, right? So, you gotta use the going on stairs, which kind of blows with the torn meniscus knees again, but it's a lot of stairs for most of these massages, actually, just because of how construction is in Tokyo. I think it's so narrow. You can even see kind of your design plan. It's like just five straight floors. And this one is decently spacious. I mean, at least with the community size, there are some massages with much bigger prayer spaces, but even then, it's nothing. It's really nothing compared to any masjid I've seen in the U.S. with the Muslim community. But um, still, it's beautiful here. It's beautiful to see that, you know. It's more a lot of diversity here. Um, I rarely ever see, you know, in Jersey, it's really just Palestinians, a lot of types of Arabs, some, you know, DC community. But here, uh, first I'm meeting a lot of, like, huge Indonesian, uh, Malaysian, Singaporean community. Um, and there's also some message that do have a decent Bengali population and Desi population. I've yet to see those though. Hopefully I do at some point. As of now, we're going to Ka Kawara Smash. It's like a, kind of like, you know, karate people break those boards. So we're gonna break some tiles. Too many tiles that can break. See if the tiles break me instead. But uh, see you guys there. Back Kawara, Kawara Smash. Time to freaking embarrass myself all right so we're going for the record 5,000 yen 26 plates this year's record this tough guy right here 25 he looks twice as shredded as me probably benches me so if i can do one more plate than him that'd be pretty sick but we'll see bismillah man he has then he's gonna watch me fail and then decide if he wants to do 10 or try to match me so let's get it guys okay Safe. Two? Oh, okay. Yeah, two. Yeah, I don't want to break yeah. before school. Making your fingers inside the holes. Okay. Uh, yeah, then clench your fist. Yeah, very good. It, uh, it is forced. It's dangerous because the your arm just here. Ah. So. <laughs> Bismillah. Allah Akbar! We just finished. I feel like a failure. Um, well, I don't know. I got, I got a pretty nasty cut, actually. It, uh, it is forced. It's dangerous because the, your arm just here. Oh, so, so uh, I don't think it needs stitches, though. I was able to stop the bleeding with a good amount of pressure. I'm just put two bands on. We'll just keep. I got to buy a box, I guess. I'm, I'm at a convenience store. 13 out of 26. Um, the thing is, it's kind of a thing where your positioning matters a lot. We're just making a tiny, like, make a tiny mistake, you're not going to make it through, um, even with strength. So, if I had a bunch of tries, maybe I'd kill it. But uh, me and Yasmin both need some practice. We'll come back next year. I'd actually love to come back next year. I, I have to, I can't sit on 13, man. But uh, it was really fun. So the thing is with this place is it's kind of pricey. So for the the challenge was um, 37 US dollars total. But you know, he doesn't need the 10. Oh, he doesn't need the 10. Yeah, it costs like, it was like a thousand yen less. So personally, I would just try the challenge because you have the most potential to do good and you really like have nothing to lose. Um, you, it's like a, just like a thousand more yen, like seven bucks. Um, it's not for everyone. If you like, if you like the whole like tr testing your strength, whatever, make sure you don't get hurt like me. <laughs> Follow their instructions very carefully. Um, but it was really fun. Try it. Fuck the uh, damn bro. Street corner stall. So we got some takoyaki actually. Pretty sick. But I can only eat so much. This is finally street takoyaki. Nah, it's really hot actually. Oh, oh hot! I love that. Oh wow! 
if the other days were cuts because of how much we walked, how little we ate, this is a bulk day. Just had some takoyaki. Bro, actually, it was really bad today. We convenience store breakfast, a lot of sweets. That ice cream itself was a thousand calories, at least, bro, if not more. We had half a takoyaki each, matcha smoothie. We just had half a takoyaki set. I'm a crab leg and I'm about to get freaking kakigori, some shaved ice. So, whatever, we're over today, but hopefully it cancels out for the week. This crab leg, pretty good, soy sauce. Banging. Banging. Some about America. Some for the Kherala dynasty to take over this joint. If you want footage of the... So you're not supposed to... <laughs> when you hit the plate, you're supposed to hit fist down. He specifically said, don't hit your form. I made the mistake of hitting my form. You get too into it, you know? You gotta like... I'm not karateka, bro. I'm not, I'm not, I do judo. But this is what we got. Luckily, it doesn't look like it needs stitches because like you can... If I sweet, it cinches up fine. First, inten first intention healing nursing school. Senior year, boys. There's just, there's just no way, guys. There's no way. I'm going in, bro. Uh, my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Uh, I actually knew this coming in that a lot of places in Japan don't do substitutions. Like in America, we're very used to our items getting substituted and fixed up and whatever. Um, not to the case here. I thought maybe it'd be different because it's a fast food chain and stuff, but it was not different. So I cannot get a bean crunchwrap supreme or chulupa in Japan. It was worth a shot though. But now we are at the Mega Donkey Hotel. I'm not going to show the full haul or the full shopping experience. Um, Definitely nice to experience yourself. I was able to get most of the souvenirs I was planning on getting from here though. Um, and there's a lot of Don Quixotes, not just the, the mega one here, but as the mega one is huge, it's seven floors and it's, unlike other buildings that are very narrow, it's pretty spacious as is and it's very compact, that's everything Japanese, it's very dense, which is super convenient, makes things easy. Um, could be a little bit overwhelming though. But even now there's stuff that I'm seeing now that I missed um, on the way up. Um, definitely should come here. If not, if not to get something for yourself, get something for other people. Really cool stuff, anime stuff, just general souvenirs. Um, there's even like regular groceries and stuff on the basement. Oh yeah, like another hour and change from over up so Probably gonna head back to the hotel to pray on it and chill for a bit before, uh, before we just side quest that night. Just try out random places, walking around. Another thing to consider about this store is tax free, which is really great. I mean, you should always be carrying around your passport anyway, but uh, obviously, you have to show them your passport and the stamp you got at the airport with it, and they'll give it to you tax free. But they, they'll ask you, like, are you using any of these products in Japan? Because then you have to pay for tax. Um, and obviously, you shouldn't be, you know, don't lie to them. Uh, you pay for whatever and they'll put it in like a, uh, they'll like seal the bag. I mean, like nothing's stopping you from opening it, but I don't know. I, I, listen, it's just souvenirs. Like if you, something you really want to use in Japan, like you're getting sweets or like, I don't know, ibuprofen. Just, it's like, it's like $5 of extra tax, man. Just, just pay it, just get over it. here in Shimokitazawa. Um, it is probably one of the coolest places that I've been to at night. Um, it's definitely a very hip area. Big on um, big on like music and izakayas and stuff. 
um, which, you know, it's not the only thing you can enjoy here. There's, a, there's actually a lot going on. Kind of nuts, but I just spent like the last hour and a half sitting in a cafe, Brooklyn cafe. Um, just chatting with some guys. Um, good language, blend language exchange opportunity. It's like I brushed up my Japanese a lot. Luckily, one of the guys knew a little bit of English because God knows I needed somebody to help fill in the gaps. But um, it was really cool, man. I feel like it's part of the traveling. And of course, sometimes language is an issue, but uh, you should try your best to always kind of interact with locals, even though it might feel awkward at first. Um, sometimes you might even get like a bad reaction, but I feel like all the times I've tried chatting with people here have been great. They've been really fun to foreigners. I've seen one difference is most, most um, Japanese people here don't seem to really know too much English. As soon as you find someone who does, or you yourself have some background in Japanese, it's hard, but I feel like there's just some parts of travel that, you know, you can't write an itinerary for, and those are honestly the best parts of travel, even though you can sit in a cafe and have a conversation in America, right? But having a conversation with someone from, you know, a different country, different culture, different upbringing, it's just pretty cool, right? You get to share information, you know. I got to tell them a little bit about Brooklyn at Brooklyn Cafe. Um, he was a Nets fan, just like the rest of my family besides me. So that was funny. But, uh, cool guys. I got a lot of recommendations. It is kind of cool, um, just really cool about the city is that despite being a big city, you feel really safe walking around at night, um, even when there's like almost nobody else in the streets. There's rarely any shady characters outside of the shady parts. So, you know, while I feel like for other big cities, it's like everything at night is a shady part besides the good places, even in Tokyo, um, I, which I can appreciate, it's kind of the other way around where all the bad figures kind of generally group in like the same area so the rest of the place is pretty chill um even for a foreigner but um you know me man we go judo and jujitsu way back so even if trouble comes my way you know how it'd be out here american style 